Hey YouTube, it's time to get hectic with HMK. With the advent of the new Legend of Zelda Wii U gameplay being shown and all the new thoughts and ideas from what we've seen, HMK is here to bring you a bold radical theory that explores the hyped and interesting prospects in Zelda that can give rise to so many new themes through the thought of a new timeline, the timeline of Hyrule's prosperity. Now from watching the trailer many times over, gaining insight, information from the trailer, and many other YouTubers, I've come to the conclusion that this game may indeed take place after Skyward Sword, but not in the way that everyone is thinking. This game may take place in a completely different timeline, even from the unified timeline, one that is in a higher prosperity than the established timeline. All of this comes from a significant event in Skyward Sword at its climax. Now first off, we all know about the great timeline split after the events of Ocarina of Time and the Unified Timeline, in which the ending creates a multiverse outcome due to the changing of events from the past to create a better future. However, while the dark future of Gandalf's rule still holds true in the adult timeline, Link returns to his original time to change things for the better in the child timeline, showing that split timelines are indeed a possibility. Towards the end of Skyward Sword, when Link uses the Triforce to destroy Demise in his present, Girhim then steals Zelda to the past to revive Demise in the distant past. Link then follows and destroys Demise in the past as well. But wait a minute, if Link kills Demise in the past, then the events of Skyward Sword and their struggle shouldn't have come to pass, as theoretically Demise wouldn't have existed, yet Link returned to his own time, to the future unfazed. Are we missing something here? Well this is where the multiverse theory comes into play. Though Link changed something huge in the past, he returns to his own time with little to no difference as he returns to his original realm of being. As evident with the unified timeline split, in which Link returns to the past to change the future in the child timeline, and yet the adult timeline still continues without him? Different timelines, people. So it stands to reason that this action of defeating Demise in the distant past created a new timeline in which Demise was purged from this world long before Skyward Sword. Now, this is where Zelda U comes into play. If this game were to take place soon after the events of Skyward Sword, it will be in a new timeline of prosperity. Allow me to explain. The whole reason why the Skylofters were in Skyloft was to be protected from demise and the demons during the Great War. And there they stayed for hundreds of years until it was truly safe to return to the surface. Now if Demise was defeated in that distant past, in which Skyloft was just sent to the sky and Demise was freshly sealed, then it would be highly logical that the land was more safe for the humans to return, allowing them to rebuild the land way earlier. And with them back on the surface, it gives them more access to the land's various resources such as time shift stones, the ancient robots, and various goods for synthesis and building, thereby using the lost time and resources to create a Hyrule that is hundreds of years more advanced than the Hyrule that existed after the events of Skyward Sword in the Unified Timeline. A sign of proof would be the great mechanical monstrosity in the first Zelda Wii U trailer. Since most of the ancient robot technology was lost due to the humans abandoning the surface all those years ago, it could be possible that there are more technological advances in energy and magic that led to the creation of that beast, that the humans could have used the ancient robots as a blueprint, and the technology that Link uses for his new arrowheads. Areas will be more populated, the land will be more expanded, and the Lunara region may never become a barren desert. This can be proven with the giant map, the clean landmarks such as the Great Bridge of Hylia, the abundance of new vantage point towers, and the proof of more animal life out in the open since the humans could reclaim the land from the demons at a faster rate. Something else that can attribute to this outcome is that since Demise was soundly defeated in the past, this could have signaled the Sheikah to come out of the shadows and help Hylia's people return to the surface, rebuild the land, and share their customs and items with them. This is signaled with Link's new cloak that is awfully similar to Impa's cloak in Skyward Sword, and the shield bearing something similar to the Sheikah eye in the second Wii U trailer. Hell, it may even be possible that in this new timeline that the land is not even called Hyrule, rather named Hylia, hinted from the Skyward Sword manga, as Eiji Aonuma and Shigeru Miyamoto have never stated that this vast world is Hyrule simply calling it a vast world or the new world of Zelda. If this theory holds true, 
then it gives Nintendo an unlimited amount of possibilities to rewrite the events of Zelda, create new themes, items, lore, and challenges, and also a route to create more games and unbind themselves from the chains of the old timeline. With all of this in mind, the new Zelda may even be called The Legend of Zelda, The New World. Now of course, the Curse of Demise may still apply, but now it may have a different host rather than Ganondorf, as many people believe, myself included, that this time around, in this time of peace, the Gerudos may be aligned with the world, and Gandalf may even be a mentor to Link, as highlighted by Link's new Gerudo gauntlets. So a new nemesis may be given rise in this new timeline, in this new world. And with that, this theory comes to a close. And what did you guys think? Leave in the comment section below, and don't forget to leave a like, share, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK, as more Zelda videos are coming every week. And once again, Thank you for watching, and I've been HMK. Until the next video, I'll check you guys later.